Tonight, the report is in. The city of Austin is going in depth on its response to last year's Halloween floods. What worked, what didn't work, and how the city can now improve. KITV's Rachel Kent has been digging into that report for us all day long. And tonight, she is live in southeast Austin with more on what she found. Rachel? Erica, I got to speak with people who survived the Halloween floods firsthand. They can tell you exactly what it was like, and they all tell me they agree with the majority of the findings inside this report. Maria Hernandez vividly remembers watching as water flooded her home and she rushed into her attic for safety. I mean, all we could do is just hear helicopters, hear people screaming for help, but we couldn't really see anything because we're inside the attic with no windows. She says there was no warning, no alarms, nothing to alert her of the impending danger. If it wasn't for my neighbor, I guess the water would have woken us up already on top of us. That's something the city admits needs to change. Homeland Security and Emergency Management released this report, which includes what worked, what needs improvement, and what didn't work. The report says the sensors were down, leaving people stranded in homes, forced to climb on roofs, and evacuate by lifeboats. Just bringing back flashbacks and imagining the kids what they went through, you know, it hurts. The city report shows the initial response was good, with plenty of fire, police, and EMS responding to help. Problems clearly arose once the water receded and people were left with damaged homes. Tags were used to show which houses were safe and not safe to live in. In the report, the problem, no one knew what the signs meant. Now, one other thing inside this report is it does talk about how there were not enough Spanish-speaking responders to help deal with those who could not speak English in this community.